you uh let's see why should I come? Yeah, why, I'm why, why don't you come up to the podium? My name is Anna, I'm all of okay. This happened like two months ago. It was a misunderstanding, but we're still together good instead. Do you have, do you have any concerns for your safety? For me, no. No, do two of you live in the same household? Yes, we live together. Okay, have there been any calls to the police before I guess this incident? No. A anything? Not not after, no. Not it, before or what about at, what about after, after it? Yeah. Well, I never called for never called for domestic violence. Where were the did the police show up at a different incident? I just need yes. to know what's going on. How long ago was that? Um it's been a few incidents. There's just been like We've just been going back and forth since. Not me. That's not true at all. My part of my no. Well, well do your credits. It's, it's not for domestic. It's just it's for other things. For other things, like yeah. what 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 kind of other things? It's like when we break up, it's like always a. It's always by the police just to make sure it's civil. That's what it is. Whenever we break up. Because gotcha. I know I knew about the incident, but I didn't know that I had anything. I knew yeah. when she called. I didn't know I, didn't I, know warrant. Either. I didn't get any paperwork or anything like that. Yeah. So just to prevent anything else from further happening, whenever we like separate, okay. I gotta get the police there to make sure that there's nothing. Because they be doing wrong. something wrong. Gotcha. They should be doing something. Guys, you know, honestly, for for both your sakes, if, if, if <laughs> I just don't want to like, like if we we live together, right? We live together in a house and as well as a car before over the duration of seven months. He would call himself, okay, can you get out of my car? This is now we live in a car and we live in rooms in the house. So that would be on him. He could have got his own self caught up every stupid time he tried to do that. From May, everything, everything. It would be no reason for him to do that. I don't touch him. He don't touch me. It just be probably a, I want to go hang out with my guys tonight or the club or something. And he does that to, you know. Okay. But that's like not right for an engagement. I, that okay. Oh, no, no, I, I appreciate what you're I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, oh, to... Hold on, hold on let, let, let me let me talk a little bit, mm -hmm. Mister. <laughs> Sir, I I, I'm just, I guess from what I'm hearing from her, I, I'm not gonna. I, I'll order no assault of contact, but I guess for both your sakes, sir, I don't know. You might want to think about. Are you moved out now? Are you living separate? You know, we live together and we're engaged currently. I didn't Maybe. know anything about this going on. Because yeah. I had well, hold on. Experience. Let's just leave it like mm -hmm. it is. So you, you want to stay living there still? Is that what you... I'm sorry, what are you saying? You, you still want to stay living together? Oh, we're trying to work it. Work it away. Okay, I, I, hold on, ma'am. Please, it's, please. My concern actually is for, for your sake. I don't if if the police get called and there's a violation on the bond, you're going to be picked up and taken to jail. But I don't. Okay. Mm. You, you, you're you understand? We're together. No, yeah, I'm going to order, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Why, why don't you just why don't you go out in the hallway for a second? You keep okay. interrupting me. I honestly. Okay. I can see what's happening. She. <laughs> for your sake. If, if police get called and they come out and it's been some type of allegations that something's occurred, it's likely you're going to be taken to the jail to get sorted out. Do you, do you understand? Yes. Okay. But I'll order no assault of contact. I'm just kind of giving you, I guess, a little <laughs> fatherly advice. How's that sound, Mr. Skinner? Is that okay? I <laughs> it, uh, I just don't want to. Judge, I, I would be more thorough than that. Okay. <laughs> right. Can I explain a problem? Nope, nope. Don't don't do that right now. I just, for your sake, I'm going to order just no assault of contact. Can you explain what that is? Yep. As long as there's no instance between the two of you, from your side, I, I'll let you keep living together if you want to. <clears throat> I'm just telling you, may not, you may be risking some things doing that from everything, okay? That's, That's all what I, I wanted to explain because the whole thing is a risk. Yeah, well, then you need to, I guess you need to sit down and think for yourself if that's what you want to do. I'll leave it up to you, okay? Um, you got to get your fingerprints done, though. Apparently, they haven't been taken yet. You're going to have to get fingerprints. No assault of contact will set a $3,000 personal recognizance fine. Okay. We 5GC, Jefferson Capital Systems versus Eric Walker. And we have the attorney for Jefferson Capital Systems here. 
Yes, good morning, Your Honor. Josie Lewis appearing on behalf of plaintiff on P69317. All right, thank you. And Eric Walker. Yeah, I'm right here. All right, Eric Walker is in the courtroom. Can you state your name, please? Eric Walker. All right, let's see. We are here today on an objection to garnishment. And let's see. A previously, there was a previous uh, objection to garnishment filed, and I denied that because the defendant did not appear on that date. So this is the second motion that's filed. And let's see, Mr. Walker, you say that you object to the writ of garnishment because I feel I was a victim of a scam in which Santander was responsible. Okay. Who is Santander? So I got a car through Santander. Um, I had low credit, bad credit. I knew I was going to take a hit on the interest rate. But I paid on the car for almost five years, and I still owed the base amount. My principal balance wasn't lowering at all. Um, I think I paid $30,000 for a $10,000 car. I wound up giving the car back. Um, I owed, I still owed $9,000 on it after paying, paying on it for like five years. That was almost eight years ago. And they're saying that I owe $4,900. Right. Mr. Walker, the problem I'm seeing though is that a default judgment was, was entered against you in April of 2021. You acknowledge that, correct? I didn't know. I don't know what that means, dear. Okay. I'm sorry. Or your honor. I'm sorry, your honor. I'm sorry. I'm not used to going to court. This is my first time. No, just because I'm younger than you does not mean that you call me here, that's for sure. Well, I'm sorry. I apologize. Mr. Walker, I did you don't dispute that a default was entered against you in 2021. Is that is that accurate? Yes. So you're here today, right? Yes. Okay, okay. attorney Lewis. Yes, Your Honor, um, you hit the nail on the head. I don't know why we're talking about the validity of the underlying judgment. He was personally served on February 19th, 2021. It was almost two months before the default judgment was even entered. He had ample time to file an answer to the court. And I think these underlying issues are not before the court today. They're not proper before the court today because this is an objection to garnishment. I would note that this is the second objection. And we were just here on June 5th for the same exact objection to the state tax guard. So for those reasons, we're also asking for costs because the, we don't believe this has any good faith basis. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Mr. Walker, I have to agree with the attorney. Uh, I, well, I don't agree that this isn't filed not in good faith. I don't think that you necessarily know the law. And that's, that's what the situation is. But the default judgment was entered against you nearly two years ago, and I don't have the capacity to invalidate that judgment. Uh, there was a certain amount of time you had to object to that judgment being entered, and that time is long past. So at this time, you owe the debt that is owed in that judgment. If there, you think there's a third party that you may be able to sue uh, because of, of something else that went on, obviously you have the capacity to do that. I just talked to an attorney about that. At this time, I am going to... Uh, I am going to find that the objections stated today are invalid. However, I will tell you, and I'm not going to assign, I'm not going to award uh, attorney's fees, but uh, Mr. Walker, if you file a motion perhaps for installment payments uh, and we were to hear that, I would uh, be happy to hear that type of motion. But this type of motion is an invalid motion. I am, I am not. Uh, Why? I am finding that. All right. So you can I mean, pick up. There was Hold on a, one second, I'm not finished. You can pick up a copy of this order at the clerk's office when you leave. All right, did you have a question? There was a, a, a lawsuit against Santander, the same company who I got the car from. Right, where, were you a part of that lawsuit? I feel I was a victim. Were you a part of that lawsuit? The, no, I wasn't. Here. Okay, well, then you need to talk to an attorney about whether or not you have a lawsuit against them. But my ruling today is what it is. Okay. okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Hi, Ms. Bibbs. Hey, how you doing? 
I'm good. How can I help you, Miss Bibbs? Oh yes, I was um telling him like he was saying something about a plea or some something like that, which I feel like I should have to take no fee because y'all like to proclaim innocent until proving guilty. Therefore, I and then. I have not been proven guilty, so therefore I'm still going to take the claim of innocent. And I said, I want to discharge the charges because I told him the situation. And he said, okay, so Miss Bibbs, this is the way it works. I, as the judge, don't have the ability to dismiss the case. What I can do is I can accept a plea of not guilty, which means that at a later date, you'll have a trial. And then that way, the state will have the um the burden of proving the case against you beyond a reasonable doubt. So you are presumed innocent. Um, and I, I would assume that a bond has been set on your behalf. Okay. So you can bond out whenever you're able. Yes, I'm ma'am. Innocent until proven guilty. So therefore a plea is not necessary, ma'am. No, I mean, ma'am. I'm not. I'm yeah, not asking you. Those are the options that you want me to have. You want me to. The, the, my options is to either discharge or to pay you all. I do not have to pay you all, Nancy, because I have not committed no crime. Okay, Miss Bibbs. I have Bibbs. not committed any crime. So, therefore, if, which, which crime have I committed? Miss Bibbs. So, you're charged with simple assault. And Ms. Bibbs, I'm trying to explain to you how this works. So you're charged. Works. I'm fully equipped. I know how it works. Right, so you said you wanted to have a discussion with me. Did you want to have a discussion with me or did you just want to tell me yeah, what you want to tell me? Meeting on the mind, man. We can do that. Mm, we're not going to necessarily have a meeting of the minds. Ain't no big I love you, man. You can dress it up. You can't dress it up and make it real for me. No, I don't care what you what outfit you have on. We're going to have a meeting of the mind. Okay. So, so Deputy Jones, you can take Miss Bibbs back. Huh? Come on. Come on, where? Come on. What did she say? She told me to go. Okay. And she's going to be this bar. All right. So, um,